Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Castle of No Escape 2 a really good dungeon crawling action adventure game developed by DEX Team published by Jitalon and is available for just £6.69 69, wink wink, sorry or $7.99 in the US now originally this was a game that would have taken around 4-5 to five hours to complete, but an update to the achievements has now changed it from hours to mere minutes. Less than 10 minutes in fact. So there are 21 achievements to grab, so I've gone sort of as slow as I can for you to stay with me as we smash through it. But of course I'll be explaining the best I can anyway. Now if you did, again, if you did play the game on its own, it is a top dungeon crawler game. But hey, I mean, the True Achievements G-Task is on right now, and Microsoft are doing big gamer score giveaways, so let's go get them easy Gs, yo. And obviously, bootleg, that's always hilarious, but pick whatever language you want first, and we can get right into it. So it is literally, there's just going to be achievements flying at your face. Again, I'm going to reuse the same Bukaki joke that I've done many a times in many past videos. Like a bunch of dicks flying at your face. Tons of achievements will be happening. So what we'll be doing first then, press begin. And then we'll just use the Guardsman. Uh, I, his weapon is probably the best in the game. So that's what we'll do. We'll get an achievement for starting out straight away. And as soon as we begin, just press the X button when you are on top of this sort of pentagon here. That will unlock us yet another achievement. So that's two achievements in mere seconds. And now the rooms are going to be random for everyone. So keep that in mind. They're not going to be the same for absolutely everyone. But what we'll do is first kill our first enemy and that'll get us another achievement. If you can clear this first room or any room without getting hit, that will get us the untouchable achievement. And you, we can also grab coins as well as we destroy enemies. So any chests and everything that you enter, uh, that you see, just press the X button. Uh, you'll also get an achievement for visiting three rooms as well. So that one will hit us now. And then after visiting those three rooms, just return to the starting room and that will unlock us yet another achievement. And then our next achievement then is for visiting six rooms. Now, of course, you can see in the upper right hand corner there, the sort of mini map. You'll obviously know ex exactly when you've hit six rooms anyway, but we're just going to wait just a couple of seconds, get a few of these achievements to pop before we just move on. And as you can see then, I mean, we've already hit <laughs> almost half of the achievements or coming up to half of the achievements as well. So there we go. So we've got, in fact, we've already visited the six rooms, so that's always handy. Next, what we're going to be getting is uh, killing five enemies. So go to sort of any room that you can and... Yeah, just go ahead and do that. Now, we need to get one for an agile attack. Now, basically, how to do that is every time that you use a weapon, you can see the percentage going up, and after about three seconds or so, it gets to about 100%. Now, while that is going up, that is when you need to hit another enemy. So as soon as you use it, make sure to try and hit slash kill another enemy, and that will get us an achievement for using what is called the agile attack. So let's just keep that one in mind. Probably the trickiest one to get right in the game, but again, easy enough. You probably, you'll get it without even realizing. So there we go. We've got the achievement now for visiting nine rooms. Our next achievement, what we're going to do is be looking into an orb. Now again, they're all randomly placed. Anytime you see any items or anything in a room, again, press the X button. So here's the orb. Just go straight up to it. Screw these guys. And, <laughs> and then just press the X button by the orb. That'll get us another achievement. And I just made that a lot harder for myself than it needed to be so next up then i well i'll be unlocking the uh 100 gold coins achievement again this will be random uh, depending on uh, enemies and how much gold coins etc they drop but again you'll be getting this within mere seconds even minutes so don't worry about that you know try and do a little bit better than i was doing here so this is where i will unlock it then and I got a potion as well. Again, any chest that you see, always press the X button to open them up. And you will eventually be getting a potion or anything anyway. So then, next up for us in this particular video anyway, we, we will need to be entering through a portal. You don't actually have to kill this guy. I'm just doing it because I'm super cute and super hardcore and stuff. Um, so yeah, if you think that you've you know, uh, gone through all the rooms that you possibly can. Always 
there'll be loads of portals and there will be stairs of course that we need to go through so do not be worrying about that so again try and go into obviously rooms that we don't know obviously I for me it's the stairs uh, so that puts us down to floor six now grab all the coins you can obviously they don't matter to us really at some point and there is a portal then it kind of looks like a shimmering butthole and I accidentally die here because the because the Bowser looking sons of bitch just followed me through the portal. So I was going to die at the very end of the game, but seeing as we are there, well, we got that. But what we're going to be doing next then is going on to Ritual. And if you just follow the code, what I've put up above here, this is where you'll get the achievement for basically getting to the end of the game. So it's up, down, select, 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 X, right, left, down, left, select, up, A. And there we go. So that will get us that achievement. The uh, input the password achievement uh, for basically getting to the end of the game. And then we've only got four achievements left. And that is the Sly Boots Smart Pants one. That is for performing an agile attack. So now if you hadn't got it yet, it's probably best to do it with this weapon here. Like I do... Um, there's just longer reach on this weapon, so you're able to hit more enemies while your percentage is going up on the top of your head. So that should be fine. And the steady non-escape one for playing for five minutes. Again, that should come absolutely naturally. But that is basically it. Now, what we've got to do is just quit the game, restart it, and then start both the game as a huntress and a cardinal. And that is all 21 out of 21 achievements. Again, that is basically that so it's, it's gonna literally take you less than 10 minutes to do that um so yeah hopefully this guide has helped guys and gals hopefully the explanations haven't been too bad and you know the fact that i've gone sort of as slow as i can to help you catch up and go along with me but yeah thank you so so much for watching guys and gals if this video did help don't forget of course to like comment and subscribe as i appreciate everyone who watches and everyone who subscribes and takes the time out to comment check me out on all my socials of course twitter instagram i'm on patreon now as well so again check all them out uh, all the links will be provided in the description but that is that thank you again also to tim g84 for brilliantly continuing to support the channel on patreon i really really do appreciate it but again thank you so much guys and gals i will see you in the next one big love